Good afternoon, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the Springs of Park Hill in Orange City, Florida, on uh, Thursday, July 22nd. And stand by for commentary. Well, today's commentary is on COVID-19 and baseline. There's always a baseline to a pandemic or a special thing, that, you know, like influenza and stuff like that. And you always establish a baseline. And it gives you an idea of what's going on. And it's usually right on the money. Okay. The Americans, because they didn't want to set up, establish a baseline, have messed up with the American people. This is why I say that President Biden is not playing tag. Trust American people and government. And this is what you needed. A baseline for a pandemic. Now this one, you should have looked that up and said, okay, uh, this is what we got. Based on history, other pandemics that we've had, with the facts that we have known now about them, we should have set it up a baseline. And the baseline would have been set up at a certain amount. In this case, I would have set it at 0.25% death rate per population. That's a quarter of a percent, people, 0.25%. And you say, oh, yeah, that's okay, but that's uh, nothing. Put it this way. If you set that baseline at 0.25, let's take Brazil, for example. 214 million people in Brazil. 0.25% of that is 535,000. That's the baseline dead. Brazil's actual reported deaths are 545,000 that they have reported to the worldwide media. That's 10,000 over the baseline. So Brazil is a good example of baseline, okay? So if you take that, you take and I'm taking a conservative 6 billion population planet Earth. 6 billion. Okay, so 0.25 of that would be around 15 million dead. And that's probably what it is. You take the United States, population of, uh, say, 330 million. They're reporting 625,000. They're underreporting. We know that. The actual baseline figure says 825,000. So they're underreporting by about 200,000. And maybe they're, you know, like Brazil is over the baseline by 10,000. So the United States may be over the baseline. But just to be conservative, they say that the United States death should be 825,000 instead of the 625. You take Brazil at 214 million, like I said, 0.25% of that is 535,000, a million, a thousand, pardon me, a thousand. They're actually reporting over 545,000. You take India. It's reporting 400 and, uh, what, 32,000, somewhere around there. The baseline, 1.3 billion. You're looking at 3,500,000 around there. Wow. 3 million. That sure hypes that 4 million dead in a hurry, doesn't it? Between the 200,000 for the Americans and that one in China. Put another 3 million on there. Because according to the baseline, it's 15 million. And I'm not trying to scare any Americans or any people here. It's just a baseline that everybody's got to do there. And that's why you keep the baseline. That's why you have mitigation of different viruses and stuff. You have no mitigation of this virus at all. You have stopgap measures with your vaccines. And now they're speculating that J&J &J does not measure up to the uh, Delta variant. Like I told you in my numerous videos before, you're fighting like the Greeks with the Greek phalanx. And you're assuming that 
you got three sides covered with the mountain on the one side. The only side you got is the open side, and you coming in, and they come in, and you crush them. The Romans fought the Greeks, and they took them into open country, all four sides. And this virus, with the Delta variant, is taking you into open country because you got disagreements along your people on vaccinations. That's because you didn't do any tag. And it's going to come back to bite you in the derriere. In today's commentary, this is your favorite alien. Good day.